Let's talk about five lead EKG placement and auscultation of heart sounds. There are five electrocardiogram leads we use traditionally to get tracings of heart for telemetry and cardiac monitoring. Many times, your leads may actually have letters on them telling you where to place them. For example, RA for right arm, LL for left leg or left lower. However, in the event that you only have colored leads, it's important to know which leads go in which locations. The way we usually remember this is white on right, so that's the right lead you place, snow over trees or clouds over grass, so the green goes over the right lower, then smoke over fire. So you'll place the black lead on the left upper and the red on the left lower. Then a lot of people know, or a lot of people use this mnemonic to help them, is we always want to keep chocolate close to the heart. So brown goes in the middle. Proper lead placement allows for accurate tracing of electrical activity of the patient's heart. Improper placement could lead to misdiagnosis of electrical abnormalities and unnecessary testing and treatments. Now there are five main locations we use to auscultate the heart. You can remember them by using the mnemonic APE to MAN or A-P-E-T-M, APE to MAN. It stands for aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral, APE to MAN, A-P-E-T-M. The aortic location is the second intercostal space, right sternal border. Pulmonic is the second intercostal space, left sternal border. You just jump straight across the sternum. Herbs point is the third intercostal space, left sternal border. Just come down one intercostal space. The tricuspid location is the fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. Again, you just go down one more space. Finally, the mitral location is the fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line. So you come down one intercostal space over the mid-clavicular line, or right in between the clavicle, you just come down to the fifth intercostal space. Those locations allow us to listen to the closing of the four heart valves. The LUB or S1 signifies systole, and the DUB or S2 signifies diastole. Because we know the aortic and pulmonic valves close during diastole, we will find that we hear S2 louder in these locations. The same way the mitral and tricuspid valves close during systole, therefore we hear these ones louder during the S1, where we hear S1 louder in these locations. The best location to hear a strong S2 is Herb's Point. Remember these locations when you begin learning about heart murmurs. It will help with understanding the pathophysiology, so learn these things and happy listening.